So this morning when I read a paper, an informed mind who had been finance minister of this country, a parliamentarian for long, and a member of Rajya Sabha currently, he stunned me because I took great pride that this parliament has done a great thing. It had unshackled us from colonial legacy by giving three laws that are of epochal dimension. From Dan Vidhan we have come to Nyai Vidhan. Every member of parliament had opportunity to contribute on the floor of the house. This honorable gentleman, a distinguished member of parliament with great background as finance minister. And what he says, I quote, New laws were drafted by part-timers, unquote. Are we part-timers in parliament? Inexcusable insert to the wisdom of parliament. Heavy heart I am sharing with you. The gentleman did not use his lung power. He gave total rest to his vocal cords while debate was going on. Not only he, his distinguished colleagues from my legal fraternity, senior advocates, did not come forward to help the nation. They had an opportunity to make his point in the parliament. It was failure on his part to perform his constitutional duty and obligation. And how can we count in such a man is speaking in high decibel, trying to seek resolution of the people, only to unsettle a mechanism? I am shocked beyond words and therefore please beware of the minds who deliberately as a strategy by way of a narrative try to run down our nation, demean our institutions, taint our progress, don't see the writing on the wall. They engage in criticism for the sake of criticism. I do not have words strong enough to condemn such kind of narrative being set at throat. A member of parliament being labelled as a part-timer. Ultimately it is the parliament that is the last source of law formulation. Every section of the society is represented there. The entire country finds a place when it comes to expression. Failure of duty on your part, an act of omission, commission, dereliction of duty, which can never be explained. You must hold yourself accountable. I am addressing the author of this, that it was made by part-timers to your conscience. I appeal to him from this platform, please withdraw this derogatory, defamatory, and highly inserting observations to members of parliament. I hope he does it.